Happy Friday. This video was supposed to come out yesterday, Thursday. Every other Thursday is my schedule for video rollouts, but that didn't happen this week. I had it all planned. I was down in Dallas for a shoot and, and I planned to film and edit the whole thing in my hotel during downtime at night. But then that free downtime turned into shooting and editing time very last minute and the whole plan went to hell. So here we are a day late, but we're still talking about the perfect portrait in four what should be very easy steps. Here we go. Understand that you can't be everything to everyone. So be yourself and be confident about it. Be happy and comfortable with who you are and what you're good at. Whatever you do, don't try to be someone else. They hired you because they like you and they like the way you shoot. If they're asking you to produce work that isn't you, then it's just not a good fit and you shouldn't be there in the first place. And here's why. Acting like you can create X when you can't will quickly become overwhelming to you. And the work that you'll see coming off the back of the camera will look subpar. And when you're making subpar images, your energy starts to fade. And then you lose that confidence that you had. And then everything physical changes about you. And then you lose your subject because you're too busy wallowing in the misery of not being able to create something amazing. When if you had just did what you do, there'd be no problem. Have a positive attitude. Whatever you do, don't outwardly show that things are going wrong with your day or the session or your whole damn life. The girl or guy in front of your camera doesn't need to hear about how the location sucks or the sun isn't just right or whatever else. Be outwardly positive and your subject will respond in kind. And learn how to smile. It doesn't have to be a big toothy kind of thing. Just a simple, I'm happy to be here grin can go a very long way. It opens you up and makes you that much more friendly and approachable to the people around you. Learn to read the nonverbal cues your subject is giving off. Learning how to read someone else's body language and what their posture is showing can help you adjust and choose the best approach to working with them and giving them that unique experience. What you really want is to let your subject know that you give a shit about them and about the way that they look in these images. If you can send that message to them, then they'll be more open to allowing you to do your thing and bring the best out of them. In addition, learning to read the nonverbal cues will let you know when it's time to wrap things up. You gotta remember that most people, even those that have paid you to take their picture, don't feel entirely comfortable in front of the camera. They want the process to be over as soon as possible. So being able to see that someone is uncomfortable or that they're ready to be done with the situation can help you navigate the session and actually extend your time with that person. Give them little breaks between poses or full setups. Cause sometimes having that minute to breathe and relax can rejuvenate someone enough to keep things going a little bit longer. Number four keeps coming up. I talk about this all the time, but it's so, it's so poignant. Be really good at what you do. Take the making pictures part out of the equation. The more time you're fumbling with the tech, the less time you're spent focused on your subject and the less great images you'll have in the end. That's it. Like it, subscribe to it, ring the bell, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.